Hey everybody, 8-Bit Flashback here, and today I'm going to be testing out Dreamcast Simulation on the Amazon Fire 4K TV Stick using the Raycast Simulator for Android. And to play these games, I will be using a flash drive with an OTG adapter that allows me to use external memory. And for a controller, I'll be using my 8-Bit Doe SF30 Pro. So this is the Raycast Simulator version R8 for Android, and I installed this by sideloading it using the external storage. And this simulator is more optimized for devices like the Nvidia Shield and other high-end tablets and phones so the performance on the 4K stick is not that good. But it does have a quad-core 1.7GHz processor, so that means it should have enough power for Dreamcast simulation, but the emulator itself just isn't designed for the 4K stick, so only a few select games seem to work okay. And just to give you an example, my smartphone is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Active with a 1.5GHz processor, and when I use the Raycast emulator on my phone, it seems to work pretty well, and that's because the emulator is more optimized for my smartphone. So here's Soul Calibur, and this is one of the games that seem to actually play decent on the 4K stick. And if you notice in the left corner there, there is a frames per second counter, but it does not seem to work, because I can guarantee this is more than 2 frames per second. So unfortunately, because that's not accurate, I can't tell you what the actual frames per second is, but if I was to make a guess, I'd say it's in the mid-50s. So for the most part, this game seems to play okay, but it does have a few issues. In some of the menus, that music kind of gets choppy, but when you're playing the game, the music seems okay. Also, when you hit the start button to pull up the menu so you can exit the game or change some of the options, all that text is gone, it's just a blank box, so that's another glitch when you're using this emulator with this game. So now I'm just going to update game plan here for just a few. Okay, next up is Sonic Adventure 2, and if you listen, you'll hear that audio is off and it's running pretty choppy, so it's not doing too well. Attention all units. Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. So as you can see, this game is running pretty rough with that audio and video being all choppy, so I'd say this game is not very playable. So there is a menu that you can access for the emulator while you're inside a game, and I have tried messing with some of the configurations like the frame limit, frame skip, etc., but I haven't seen any improvement when trying to change any of these settings. And here's Power Stone, and this is another game that seems to play fairly decent, and to be honest, the only games I could actually get to play well at all seem to be fighting games. Okay, next up is Mortal Kombat Gold, and because this is a fighting game, it seems to play fairly well as well. But it does have some issues, because you can see that the text is missing in these boxes. And now we have another fighting game, this is Capcom vs SNK, and I thought because this is a fighting game that it would probably do okay too, but I was wrong, and I would say this game is not playable, because the sound is terrible. Plus, there's quite a bit of slowdown. And this is Charge and Blast, and I would say this game is just barely playable. It's not doing great, but I'd say it's doing good enough to where you can still play it and somewhat enjoy it. And here's Unreal Tournament, and as you can see it's running pretty choppy. And I think the frames per second might actually be accurate right now with this game, because this seems to match 
what I'm seeing on the screen. And last is Crazy Taxi 2, and same thing with this game. It seems to be running choppy, the audio is all chopped up, and it kind of makes the game unplayable in my opinion. So unfortunately right now at this point the Dreamcast emulation is not doing so great, but hopefully with some future updates to these emulators, we might get one that's more compatible so we can play some Dreamcast games and actually enjoy them on the Fire 4K stick. So even though the Dreamcast is a no-go right now, there is other emulators for the 4K stick that are working really well for systems like PlayStation and Nintendo 64, and I will be doing some videos on those here in the near future as well. Okay, it's time for me to get out of here. If you liked that video, please don't forget to click that like button, and have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.